Hello and welcome to Panthea Geek, you're joining us for an unboxing video. Uh, I'm going to do the Theory Navigator after this, so stay tuned for that one, it's going to be a short video, but we'll talk about that in depth. But for this one, I'm going to be in the Arcanaut Ironclad. Ooh, the big box. The big box, the big ship, the, the centrepiece for the army. Mm -hmm. So, it's a thick box this one, when you hit the camera on. Uh, there is the back of it. So we see a boarding plank up here. Oh, awesome! Uh, the Ethermatic Volley Cannon is that one, and then the Great Sky Cannon. I want to see if we can magnetise those two. We also have a Great Sky Hook. I want to see if we can magnetise that as well. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Hull Cannons and everything else on this. The Endringer, that's a cool thing. Missed out on some of the original pictures. He's actually hanging off the side, and it looks like he's actually got a paintbrush in his hand. It's awesome. Um, Captain there and call schemes and such like. So let's get this unboxed. Cool. Yep. Yeah. So you've been looking forward to this one, haven't you? Yeah. The, um, this is the last of the ships. Yeah. Um, and then the, the others are just like little characters are taken. Yeah, that are there's some Skyriggers. Mm -hmm. And then we have the other two characters next week, guys. So if you've got next week. Oh, oh, ah, that's the thing. Right. Here we go. It's like Christmas. Oh. Every week's like Christmas. <laughs> it has been recently. Yeah, it's definitely been recently. <laughs> so you've got a colour. Colour. Again. Instructions. There is the back of the instructions. The colour palette on. So look at the sprues. One big ass sprue there. To be fair, this is like a book. Like a little book. This, this concerns me. It's going to be a long video, guys. A long video on a short video today. And then another video for Grom Brimdall as well. So stay mm. tuned for that later on. But yeah, the main bulk of the ship though looks is that? like it's that. Which is reassuringly good. Um, the next one, we have all the, uh, the, balloons. the balloon sort of things, the thematic balloons. And then we have a flying base. Really? For this big honking ship? Yeah. I did it bigger than the other one. Can't tell from here. No, same no, size. It's exactly the same size. Right, so this, this they, they, they look good. Uh, the smaller frigate, smaller than this, uh, which. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a basing for it, um, and it doesn't sit on this, no matter how hard much glue I put onto the, uh, the actual ship, it won't stay on to rotate, so it's going to have to be glued into position, mm. plus I'm also going to have to pin it into position as well, because I don't trust that. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's small a bit of joint, a shame. isn't it, really? Um, but, there we go, so I'm going to have to do that with the small frigate, so... Mm. I imagine I'm going to have to do that with this as well. So here is the last sprue. We've got the deck of the ship, bombs, wings, crew, everything else on this one. Then we have a weird looking base. Is this a new size base? 2013. What else has been on that? That's a very oval base. No, it's not warped. It's not warped to me. It's not warped. It's fine. That's a very oval base. It's big. Uh, that'll be a good one to do a video on. Uh, I've been asked to do a basing video of how I did my knights. Uh, that's not quite the same size as the knight base, actually, I don't mm. think. But yeah, same same thing will apply. So I might use, do it on this one, to be honest. So stay tuned for that in another video. Um, but for now, let's uh, get the instructions. Then we'll have a look at it. Okay. So the first part, we have part four, which is the deck. This main deck part here. That's the other side. We have part six, which has got these little nodules on there. That's going to attach underneath onto that bit, leaving that to gap there. Uh, which is where part five, with part eighty-six, which is the uh, handle, that's going to go on there, and then that's going to go into the gap, which we just created by sticking that on. And we have part 57, which is kind of like a porthole thing. 
that goes on this side bit here, there's like a little indentation with a line. And if you turn it over, there's a little line on the other side of that. That goes on this side. On the other side, we have another one, which is part 56. Again, same attachment. And just behind that, on this blank wall area, we have part 39. Uh, I think it just goes above that line we've got there. Because there's a little indentation on the bottom of that. It seems to just fit onto that. So we'll stick that together, which will bring us up to this phase. And Claire can be cutting off. These bits. next parts, which are 276, uh, which won't be glued, 90, 89, and 91 times 2, mm -hmm. which also these will be glued and then put into the sides of the ship. So we'll be back with these parts. Okay, so there is the first part done. Next one to this whole part, which you can see there, I've got the inside bit. So this is where the, uh, the guns here go. Um, and then we have the propeller. We have some light on this. Oh, Thank light. you. Awesome <laughs> sauce. There's some light on this. And uh, that's going to go on there. That's not going to be glued onto that, according to uh, this diagram. And they're not going to be glued into here. But what we do need to do is glue these bits together. So, like the frigate, it's that bit with that bit in. And then the end bit is like a little funnel, which uh, goes into the... So I'll just stick these two together, we'll uh, put them in place and then we'll see what's next. Okay, so there is the inside, everything's balanced, I'm just shaking a bit. Uh, so in there goes part 93, which is this bit here, which will go over the two uh, back parts of the guns. With part 77, which will keep this bit from continually falling off every time I try and pick it up. And then the opposite side, I've already put together part 90, 89 and 91, which is the guns on the other side. We have part 75, which is the uh, rotary blade thing for, for that bit. Move that onto the camera, there we go. And then we have um, part 92, which keeps the guns on there. And then we have part 73, part 74, which are going to go on here. Uh, none of these blades are going to be glued, they're not going to be able to be rotated. So I'm going to stick these bits together and then I'm going to move on to this side. So we're going to need part 64, 72. Uh, they, I think that is that the back of the ship? Uh, I think yeah, so, is. yeah. That's the back of the ship and I think that's where the uh, the back fin might go on to or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's going to be the, the rear end, so 64 and 72. Two. And then all these parts are going to go together. So we'll take these bits off. What does that mean? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> what we're looking at there. Uh, is there something that goes in there? Oh, part 65. 65. There oh, we well go. done. There we go. So this bit's not glued as well. Nearly missed that. There you go. Well done, Colin. Um, part 65 is like a little cog by the looks of it. And that goes in this bit here. There's like a little indented bit and that's not glued as well which is why the point is so it needs to rotate so imagine that with that will probably be there will it open it up do you reckon or something or? i think it's just going to be what the the back fin attaches ah. to and rotates so what we'll do we'll get up to this stage um and then we'll be back hopefully the hole will be one big piece then and I'll, things won't keep falling off Okay, so just quickly came back. So the best way to assemble this is, which is shown, take the whole uh, part here, make sure this is completely dry and that is completely dry and that still turns. Uh, then stick on the deck, hold that in place, stick the back part on. It goes together actually pretty easily. It looks worse than it actually is. I'm actually holding it in my hand glued together finished. Um, so put that bit on and then, well, that bit's lying down on its side. Put plenty of glue on all the little hole holes and attachments and the parts that fit onto the deck and on the back. Make sure you don't get any glue near anything that moves, especially this this bit here. And then, literally, you put the two pieces together and it went together really nicely, actually. But what you want to do now is make sure you put plenty of pressure on this part in the middle, this part at the back, and this part there. Ideally you'd want three hands, but um, make sure I apply plenty of pressure to the middle and keep switching around applying pressure onto these bits. So I'm going to do this for ages. 
before you do any of this, make sure your guns are definitely drying in place because if they fall out now, they're going to be a nightmare to get at. You still can because you can get your hand in there, but very faffy. So once this is dried, we will continue. So, I'm holding this, wait for it to dry. The next parcel we need is 69, which is the back fin. 71, so that is a, like a cog section that's going to go on to uh, that little movable cog down mm -hmm. there. Now we have part 70, which is what seals that onto that. Part 79, what's that? Steps. Steps. Steps, not the band. Ah. Got some actual steps. Now we have part 88, which is the flux capacitor. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, oh, that's a door handle. It's a door handle. Uh, and that, that's going to go on there. So we'll get these parts cut off, we'll have a look at them. And then we'll come back. I'm going to have to wait for this to dry fully, so we'll just see you in a moment. Okay, so... That's pretty much drying. So we've got the, the back fin, which is huge. That's part uh, 69. Part 70 is this part here, which once we've trimmed it down, has got those uh, connectors on it. So that'll fit in quite well. And then we have the uh, part 71, is it? Mm -hmm. Which just fits on there, like that. And we have part uh, seven, what's it, 79. 79. So these are the steps. They're just going to go underneath the door frame. And then we have part 88, which is not a DeLorean unfortunately, it's just a handle. <coughs> and that's just going to go on there. So I'll get these points clean, cleaned up and onto the ship. And then we're on to this bit down here, which is part 3, 78 and uh, 87. So 87 is the other handle for the other mm -hmm. side and part 78 is the, the uh, other st set of stairs. And then part 3 goes in this big hole in the front. It's like a radiator or something. Oh, great, isn't it? Great. Yeah. Cool. It's what it looks like anyway. Mm. So what we'll do, I'll get them off and clean up and we'll get them into place and everything. And when I come back, hopefully we'll be at this stage with this bit on. Okay, this is before we continue. You can see we've put the door handle on and the stairs. We've got these funky little like grapples. Must be for the stairs to go to the ground or something. That looks really cool. Uh, same on the other side. We have the fin on the back. It's quite stiff now, actually. That's pretty good because the cog actually does work to keep it in place. It doesn't jump about like the gun stock, uh, gun haulers ones do. Mm -hmm. uh, now on the front, I haven't stuck this beyond yet because I was going to show you the on, on the side of this is a little arrow, which is now pointing down, which we're pointing up, which tells you the way around it needs to go. And that will literally just sit in there. I've, I have put it in there and it sort of stayed in on its own, really. Um, but we'll glue that into place and then we're done that and then we can move on to the next bit which are these parts here which is 60, 62, uh, 67 and then we've got 58 and 94 which makes this bit we've got 95 and 59 which makes that bit which is like the opposite side it's like a vent or an exhaust yeah. we've got a uh, 68 and then we have the uh, other side of this, we've got 63 and 61. I think these go on these back bits here. And then we'll be here, won't we? Mm -hmm. So we'll get to this stage. And uh, well, we'll get these bits off, we'll have a look at them. And uh, I'll make sure this is fully dried because it's still drying in places. See you in a moment. Okay, so here are the next parts. As we said before, these parts make like a, a vent. So we just have this bit here. It's got two little dots in the middle, which this part will fit onto. And then we have the fin part, which is a 67. And there it is. And that is going to go, which side is it on? This side. And it goes on there like that, does it? It looks right, doesn't it? Uh, so that's the bit that, yeah, it's got like a cone shape bit which it attaches onto. So you can glue this into position again like the other bits, you could magnetise this bit. So uh, there's the other bits there. They get the same on the other side. We also have these little ball bearing parts which do go on these back bits. You can see there. And they're very specific ones, so you might want to take these off the sprue one at a time. <laughs> yeah. 
And hopefully they don't roll off the table. I, I was just dead. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so that, so uh, they go on to here. So 60 goes there. And then the other one goes underneath. And then vice versa on the other side. So I'm going to go and stick this together. And we can have a look at it. But that's the end of this sub assembly. So there's a little uh, paint marker there. Which says paint this bit separate. Which is probably a good idea to be honest. Mm. So we'll get to this bit and then um, we'll see what's next. Okay, so the ship is here. Ooh, there's all those bits on. That's drying over here. So next up is going to be painted separately. So we're going to move on to this next bit. So we have the gun mount, we have the gunner, and then we have the actual guns themselves. Now the gun mount, the gunner, and this this plate here, which is part 26, are all going to be left separate according to the instructions. I'll have a look when I've put it together whether I can get in and paint underneath that or not. Just leave that bit separate. But I'll definitely be leaving the gunner separate. So with that in mind I might be able to get in there and sort that out. So we have parts um, 30 and 29. Those two parts just go together like that to make the back end of the gun. We have parts 27 and 28 which are parts with the gun will sort of stand in so it can uh, move a bit like a cannon mount and those bits won't be glued onto the sides of the gun but these bottom parts will be glued onto this where those four holes are at the bottom this is like the gunner's position we have part 24 and part 25 which are going to go in these side bits here and then the gunner himself is 121, 123, uh, part 120, 125, 122, and a part 124. So once all that's together, I'll glue him in position, but not to the actual thing, so I can take him out again. And then we have the complicated part. So these are the weapons. So we have the ethematic volley cannon, which is part 38, 37, and 36. Those parts are separate. And go together to make sort of a mini gun. And then we have the Great Sky Cannon and the Great Sky Hook. They both have the same barrel. And then we have part 33, which makes it the barrel of the cannon. And we have parts 34 and part 35, which make up this part here. So I'm going to find what I can do with magnets to magnetize, try and magnetize all three options. Worst case scenario, I can magnetise that, and then one of these two will be the other option. So I have to have a look at that. So I'm going to go away, stick these together, and uh, see what I can do with the magnets. And when we come back, we'll continue with the next part of the ship, and I can show you what I've done. Okay, so uh, we're back. I just need some time for working this out. So here we have the, the gun emplacement. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that bit off, just for now, I'm going to paint this straight away. Otherwise, you could probably get away with that being stuck on. You wouldn't need that to be separate, but if it would be difficult to get into those bits under there and these bits around here. So if you're a perfectionist and you want everything done, leave the plate off. Uh, so, the ether volley cannon is here. There it is. That's pretty secure. And all it's stuck on with is literally, here we go, a pin. So there is a pin in there. I filled this bit with green stuff. I've put a pin in. Um, once the green stuff's dried, I've drilled a hole, glued it, and then we've got built this exactly as it's meant to be. Drilled a hole in there, in the correct place, obviously. Make sure you line it up. That goes on there. Done. Okay, that's one. Two. Here is the spear gun. Again, fits in exactly the same way. There we go. It's not going to fall out. It actually feels more secure than. The magnets are used on the uh, frigate. Uh, this is connected uh, via a plug and this bit here. So you just basically tear a bit off underneath there. You can now see the gauges on, on the cannon barrel. Pull that bit out. It's literally that's it. That's already done for you. Didn't need to make any adaptions to that at all. So then there's only the cannon. So this looks rather phallic, but uh, if you wanted an exact size so it didn't rattle around, what you could do, you could take a cast of this plug uh, using some blue stuff or the mould stuff. Just take a mould of it, then make a green stuff plug. Uh, this one works just fine. 
Uh, you can just I just put some green stuff into approximately the right size and let it set. Glue it onto the back of the cannon. That bit will now sit in there quite happily, being the cannon. And obviously that goes on there, as we saw before. So we have the cannon version, all three versions, without using a single magnet. Uh, you could easily magnetise bits on, but I actually thought that was easier and quicker than trying to get magnets in the right place. Uh, no problem with magnetising it though, so just use a similar method. There we go. So what I've also done, uh, we've put the dwarf together, there he is, sands an arm. What he does, he sits on this little seat there, and then his arm holds onto the uh, the gun there, and it goes over the end. Now you probably can glue him together and slip him on later, but it's actually going to be easier to paint him with that bit separate, and then glue that bit on there afterwards. Because if that doesn't go on for any reason, you, you can have a hard time trying to persuade that to come on. You might even end up breaking it when you put it on. So leave one of the arms separate is my advice for the dwarf. Paint him and the arm. Keep them together, don't lose them. And then glue them together while you're attaching him to his post later on. So that's, we're up to date now, yeah? So we now need to move on to this next bit, which is also a separate little part by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. So paint this bit separate though, paint this bit separate. Uh, we'll have a look at it as we go along. But this is kind of like the, uh, the bit that attaches in the middle though. So when you parts 82 and 81 for the wheel, when you parts 7 and 8, 83 for like the control systems, and then 13 for one of these weird dwarf sort of snarling face box things. It looks like a box mm, or a funnel. It does not it. I'm not sure what they are. I think probably some sort of funnel. Uh, it's sort of like, like gas escape from the engine room or something. I don't know. It's, it's not a traditional mechanism. No idea where it works. So we'll get this bit uh, off and see how separate we need to keep this and whether I can just stick it straight onto the ship. Okay, so the steering wheel, part 81 there. It's a cool looking steering wheel. And uh, probably ship to be a lot of them. Um, there's the connector bit, shall we say? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's the correct term for a nautical part. So. Uh, we have seven, which is that bit there, which will attach to eight, which is that bit there. And those two bits are just going to go together. And then this is going to go on the front of it. This is all the control panels and everything for it. It's going to go on there. And then on the opposite side of this, this side, this is where we get part 13. Is I did cut it off. Have a, where is it? I don't know. Oh, there. <laughs> right in front of me. There we go. That's part 13, the sort of weird dwarf face of it. We'll stick that bit together and then we'll have a look and see whether we want to stick um, them onto the ship or leave them separate. But also, before I forget, the connector for the uh, gun part, which I showed you before, uh, those two parts, the slot into that like so and that just swivels around so you don't actually glue that bit on. Okay so uh, I'll do this bit and then we'll have a look. Okay so there is the wheel and there is the control panel and middle bit. So you could stick them on. I'm not going to actually. I'm going to leave them off. This is, I mean, this is the next thing I'm going to paint actually. I'm going to paint it pretty quick. Uh, but you can see the, we've got some connectors when you do want to connect it. They're quite a big connector, so Super will be fine with these. Um, you've got three blocks there, which go into those three holes. And then you've got a little tube there, which goes into that bit. It's just underneath the... Uh, that bit up there. And that's just going to sit into there. And then the wheel will go into this bit here. So yeah, if you glue them in first, that's going to get in the way of that. And... Uh, this is going to get in the way on the side of the ship, so that's why they've left them separate, and I'm going to leave them separate to paint it as well. Okay, so shall we move on? Yeah. See what's next. Mm. No, this isn't working. Well, I've got many of them. Down to the balloons. Okay, so we need part 54, 53, which is the top part of this balloon, 55, which is the bottom. And then we have a series of struts which connects to the lower part of the balloon. So the struts are 45, 47, 46 and 44. 
and then we've got 51 and 50 and 52 which make up the uh, smaller balloon. So these two balloons are actually sort of connected to each other. I'll call them balloons because I can't remember exactly what they're meant to be called. <laughs> and if you were at a proper airship that's what they would be called. But obviously they're not balloons because they're not filled with air, they're filled with get weird gas. So flying mechanism. Okay. So we got all the parts off for this and we'll have a look at them. Okay so we got the parts off. So there's one side of the balloon. As the other side, be careful of this little bit here when you come down off, it's tiny. Uh, you can easily break off. But those two parts will fit together. And then they will go on with this part here. Oop, there we go. So that makes one part of the balloon. And then we have uh, these struts. So the struts will connect into these holes here, like so. And then the lower strut. Um, well, where did that be go? Yeah, it's that bit there. There's that groove in there. That will, oops, that will connect like so. And same on the other side. And they'll connect to this balloon, which is just two halves of a circle with that as a plug. So I'm going to stick all this bit together and we'll be back when it's done to move on to the next page. Okay, so there is the uh, balloon assembly. Looks cool actually. Mm. Uh, so the next part is underneath the balloon assembly. We have part uh, 14, which is a uh, pipe which attaches to this hole uh, and to that. Where is it going to? It shows it going on to there, doesn't it? That, bit there, yeah. that, that little hole uh, I think that's where it shows it going. So that'll go on to there and that'll fit into there. I'll have to wiggle that into place. And then we have part 15, which goes next to it. And uh, where does that bit connect to? All right, so they're both, yeah, there's two little uh, indentations there. So one will go there and connect into there. One will go there and connect into there. So the larger, that one's larger than, that, sorry, that one's larger than that one. And that one's obviously larger than that one. So you shouldn't be able to get them too mixed up. So once they're on, that was part 15 and 16, are on to the struts. So we have part 42. So there is one strut. Again, underneath. Switch it around over here. We're on, yeah, we are on that side. And there's two plugs there. That looks like it goes in like that. The other one goes on the other side, part 43. And we should have this assembly at the end. So let's do that. Okay, so there is the balloon assembly done. Uh, the next stage it would be to um, look at this. Is to stick it onto these parts here. So there's like these little ports. So like, I thought they were portholes, but they're not. They're the parts that connect onto the balloon. So we have those circular bits at the bottom of the balloon which will slot onto those. I'm not going to do that because we want to leave that separate to paint. And then also underneath that, there we go, we have connectors for that to fit on, like that. So again, that bit's going to go off, so. So, that would take us up to this stage. And then literally we're on to the crew. Okay. So we have 100 and 405 for the head, 110 for the arm, 109 for the arm, 106 for the body, and uh, 101, 107 for the gizmos. 108. Sorry, 108, 107, the gizmos, which will make the navigator who will sit in the top of the balloon. And there's a little uh, bit in the top there, which you'll attach to. We have this bit here, which also has got uh, 85 and 84, like a telescope, isn't mm. it? And you don't glue that bit on to 12, and you basically put that into the. Uh, which is where that circular hole is. So what I might do is glue part 12 onto that and paint that bit separate if then it can rotate in there. Next up we have the bombs, which are going to go onto these side run parts. 17, 19 and 21. And then we have, uh, who's this dude? Oh, this is the guy, is the guy hanging off the side or what's he hanging from? He's hanging from a chain from the uh, balloon. Alright, so is this guy the captain? 
Because like he hangs it. from the chair, he's like pulling the chair, like making a. Oh, maybe, noise. yeah. I think he's the captain because it looks like he's on the steering wheel, though. So he's part 99, 96, 103, 97, 100, 101, 102, 98 for the shoulder pad. And that makes the uh, guy looks like he's flushing a. <laughs> old, old timey lavatory <laughs> fair enough uh, so we'll stick all those parts either onto the bolt or just together ship airship <laughs> bolt <laughs> oh, I didn't mean this is like a bolt Sorry. Uh, so we'll stick the guys together we'll stick those bombs on and I'll, I'll probably stick part 12 onto the ship and then these two parts together separately ok so there's the bombs on the side of them uh, we've also got the telescope plate here, which is in two pieces, so it can rotate. You can, you can magnetize this, keep it on as well. Weird thing about this is the underside of the uh, part. The part's going to be glued onto the ship. It's got a little dwarf symbol on, mm. which is a bit odd. Um, but yeah, that's going to go in that circular part there. So you're not going to see that. Unless you can have it separate. Unless you can have it separate. Then what else would go in there? Bit strange. Navigator. There he is. Looks pretty cool. Uh, the captain pulling the chain there. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so the next page. There we are. Um, okay, so the next page we have part nine and we have part ten. Parts of the supremacy mine. Those two bits will just stick together. Pretty much like that. Then we have part 11, which is the, uh, the part that holds the supremacy mine. That attaches into this back uh, circular bit there. So it's going to go on there when it's done. Uh, then we have uh, parts 49 and 48 and 66, which make this back sort of, I don't know why it's a stabilising device or something. It goes near the, the fin, that's why there's a cut out in the fin. Um, but those three parts make that up and that goes on to that uh, cube sort of area at the back there. Uh, we have the bombs for this side, 22, 20 and 18, so it's gone like the others did. And then we have here, what have we got here? Is this the guy who's... Uh, no, this is the guy that's got the uh, paintbrush. Oh, that's the guy with the paintbrush. So there is the paintbrush. Yeah. And he's got a drill on his other hand, does he? Or uh, some sort of drill attached to him. He's got a drill attached to him, yeah. Oh, awesome. He's got a gun in like the other hand, like I don't know what kind of gun it is. Glue gun probably. Yeah. Boss stick. Right. Um 131, uh, 129, 127, 128, 126, 130. 130. Make up him, I can remember. Mm -hmm. This guy. He looks like he's attached to something, doesn't he? Yeah. Where does he go? Bizarre. It seems to go over on this area. Are those attachments? Uh, no, I think they're just like... Um, oh, I know what they are. They're uh, signals. Yeah, signals. He's, he's, he's a, a signal signaler. guy. Awesome. Sorry, that was so cool. I'll get it now. Uh, 112, um, uh, 113, mm -hmm. 119. Which is there, uh, which is... I don't want bit. you to lose. Signals 118, 117. Part of that device is 116 and the backpack's 115 and the head's 111. So I'm going to go ahead and stick all these parts together and that'll leave us with the next page which has got a few bits and pieces on it. So you've got 135 which is looks like it's something to do with the navigator at the top. Yeah. Oh it's a scroll. So it's like a scroll. And you've got 41 and 40 which are two struts. Yeah. 80 which is the anchor and 132 which is the attachment the harness for yeah. your paint guy yeah it is so we'll get all these parts together get those bits cut off and then we'll be back in a moment okay so there is the the back part on there we've stuck the anchor on which was part 60 so I stick that on we've also got the bombs on both sides now um, the anchor's part 80 did we do anything else with this bit? No, we didn't. So that bit is, I think, pretty much ready. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the supremacy mine there, which I'm going to paint separate, like nearly everything else on this. We've got the signalman, which is a really cool model. <laughs> on his own, <laughs> he looked really awesome. But there he is, that's the signalman. We've got the uh, 
painter, shall we say, engineer and painter, because he's got a drill behind him. And there he is. There's a hole in his stomach. That's because uh, 132 will attach on, but I'll have to paint him off first, because that will attach onto the ship, and then that part will attach onto his belly. So there is a bit of give in how you position him. We've also got this tiny little part, which is 135, which is part of the navigator, mm -hmm. which again is resting on the ship. So I'm going to have to paint that tiny little bit separate as well, and um, stick it on afterwards. I've noticed there's two 135, so I can only assume there's another 135 on the next page, perhaps. Oh, and the struts, uh, part 40 and 41. So I actually glued them onto the balloon, because they fit in to these holes here, and they go in quite exact, so that's the only way they're going to go in anyway. So it's not like I need to position that. Uh, so that's ready to go. And those two front parts will attach to that bit there, and the other bit the once it's painted. So we can go on. This is the last page. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. Are these optional extras in all of them? Yes they are, yeah. Alright, cool. So these are all optional extras. So we have Gangplank, optional extra, which is cool. We have a box. Have we got any of these? Uh, I haven't cut them off, but Don't I can cut off. them off. So, yeah. yeah, cut them off. So you've got a stein, uh, you've got some guns, you've got like a crate thing, and an oil can. Mm -hmm. We'll get these parts cut off, and again, these will probably end up getting painted separate. Yeah. <laughs> and then glued on at the end. So we'll get the parts off, have a look at them. Okay. Okay, so unlike usual, where I can actually show you a completely finished model, this one has got so many sub-assembly parts, they're all going to be painted separate, that hopefully you can get an idea of how it goes together <laughs> in your imagination. Uh, but uh, I am going to paint all these bits separate. There's a lot of detail in this. I don't want to ruin it. Um, so let's just go through. We've got the hull of the ship. There it is. That's the main bulk of the ship. Uh, you could even, if you wanted, leave the bombs off and the anchor off and a few other bits off to get into certain parts. I'm fine with that. That's not too bad. We have the... Uh, moving along. We have the balloon, as you keep seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, that is that sub assembly. That bit we're going to leave separate, though you could stick it underneath there, but just for ease, we may as well leave that separate as well since we've got so many other bits. We have the steering wheel, same reason you could stick that on, but again, I'm going to leave that separate. We have this uh, bizarre. I don't know why there is. Anything. I'm wondering if you can turn it over if you don't want to put that on. Oh, yeah, you can just use it as a cap. Of course you can, it's like the top of a, a rhino or something. Oh, mm. duh. So you can just use it as a plug if you want. Awesome. That's why that is then. Hold on, Claire. Mm. Got the Supremacy Mine, which we showed you. Uh, let's move this up so you can see some of the other parts. Uh, all the gun parts, all separate. So we got the signalman, the painter, the engineer guy, navigator. There's actually two little. Uh, a scroll yeah. part. I think there's a spare one because it only shows one on the diagram. It does, yeah. We have the captain pulling the chain there and the gunner and then we have all these little bits that we're just having a look at. So you actually get you get one boarding plank which is there which is a cool little thing. I love the runes on it. And that literally will um, see which side you want it to go on. doesn't really matter. It'll fit into the so you could even wedge that in if you wanted, you wouldn't have to glue that on. It probably will fall off. Or you could just put a pin in it, basically, to keep mm -hmm. it on. One thing I will say, it's quite sharp. That, yes, that, that bit, as you say, <laughs> that's stubborn. That bit there is really sharp. Mm. Uh, it's, it's like um. I thought it was a bit of flush for, for a bit, but it's not. It's actually like a... It, I don't know, like it's designed to just hook into things. But yeah. The thing just looks like it comes out, so... Yeah, so that, there's the boarding plank. Then everything else we get two of basically. So we have um, we've got these cool steins. They're awesome. I like them. They're going on somewhere. We had a couple of uh, oil cans. We got a couple of gun sets there. Two guns. That will look quite good on the back of somebody mm. as well. You know, like one of the like a gunslinger. Yeah. Off. Oh, I've got a conversion in my head. Gunslinging. <laughs> Uh, cowboy, cowboy, pirate, dwarf. <laughs> okay, cool. 
<laughs> and then we have these cool crates. So these, there's two of these, but they're also double sided. So you can have it that way around. So it looks like it's open with a gun in it. Or you can have it that way around. It looks like it's closed. Ah. There we go. So these are all the parts. So there's a lot of parts here. I'm going to have to start painting this uh, as soon as possible. So I don't lose bits. I'm absolutely terrified now because I lose bits all the time. Off. Models have not stuck together. So I'm going to have to make, this is now my priority to paint this before everything else. Mm -hmm. The escorts are going to have to wait until the end. I'm going to have to paint this ship. So uh, unfortunately I can't show you it all stuck together, but hopefully in a future video uh, it, it will be done. And I'll, it's going to be my priority now. It's number one. It's bumped to the top. Um, so hopefully it will be finished soon and I can show you it. Uh, the next, one of the next videos I will do actually is the base for this as well. So. We have this big base that we saw at the beginning. Uh, I'm going to base this um, and see what I can do if I can come up with an idea for the uh, the actual flying base structure. Because I don't think there's any way that's going to hold. I mean, that one won't hold the frigate. So that one is definitely not going to. It's the same size as the plastic, but that's not going to hold this thing. This is way heavier. Um, so either I'm going to have to pin. The top part stops from falling around, or I'll have to come with another solution, maybe magnets. I don't know, I'll have to have a think about that. But I'll do, I might cover that in my basing video. I might just do the basing video separate, showing you the basing materials I'm going to use on this. Uh, but someone requested that, so I'm going to do the basing video anyway. Um, okay, so that is this video over uh, at a weird stage where I don't have a finished model to show off and showcase, which is a bit weird, but um. Hopefully you've liked this anyway, hopefully it's helped and hopefully if you get one yourself uh, it's given you an idea of how to stick all the gun parts on and which parts to leave separate to paint. So there we go. Mm. So please like and subscribe, it helps out loads. And the other video we've got, which I imagine will be a lot shorter than this one, is the Etheric Navigator. And we've also got the White Dwarf as well. The, yes. wi the White Dwarf. The White Dwarf. The Magazine White Dwarf video should already <laughs> be up. So cool. That, that's cool, that thing went up yesterday. So there we go. So, uh, please like and subscribe. Take care, guys. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. And bye for now. Bye for now.